MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the Colorado Rockies and the Washington Nationals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. The dude, Gerald, will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, we're going to get a chance to look at a good veteran pitcher here. This guy's been around the block a few times, but one of the things he does, he still competes at a high level, and he's never stopped trying to learn how to be a good pitcher. Leading off the afternoon for Colorado, the right fielder, Milo. Gravino. Hey, no outs now, none. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And we are underway oh, in game count. one as the first pitch is swung on and missed for the first strike. First pitch. Here we go right now, fellas. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And now a slider is swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Stepping in now, Esteban Reyes. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Reyes, a veteran at 35 years of age. This is his 10th season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Down oh, oh, the first oh, oh. baseline. And he'll take it Got to the it. bag himself for the out. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. Danny, who stands out to you? You know, they better not sleep on that guy sitting in the seven hole. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. And he could do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Batting third. The center fielder. Mark Abbott. Get a hit, 
spearhead. Two down, two down. First pitch coming, here it is. In there, 0 and 1. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey, D. Rowe, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Swung on and missed that strike two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Ball. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. To short. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rolando Gonzalez. Rolando Gonzalez. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. Now the pitch. Aye. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Pedro Chavez. He'll get to take his first the cuts first here. Guys. here we go. Pedro Chavez. Now here's the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. One and one to the Rockies' first baseman. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. Into the box now, Ricky Coates, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Breaking ball drops right in the shoot for a strike. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Bouncer to the left side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in, Enrique Batista, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Batista.
first offering on its way. The windup and the 0-1. Line to the right side, but foul. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. So now to the plate, Sam Thompson. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Batting nine. At the plate, Richie Chavez. Chavez just gets a piece of it. Strike one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Third inning, no score to this point. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to stand in as the veteran pitcher, the dude, Gerald. Gerald. Find some green, baby. Find some green. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Into the box now, Milo Trevino. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And this is fouled at the plate. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. 
Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Now batting the second baseman. Esteban Reyes. In now, Esteban Reyes. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Bounce to first. He's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Coming to the plate now, Mark Abbott. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. Oh, and one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Aye. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rockies. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Hitting up for Colorado, the third baseman, Rolando. He's ready. Here's the first Rolando. offering. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. The pitch. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. The first base. Into the box now, Pedro Chavez. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Good arm action on the circle chain swung on and missed 0 and 2. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. And he punches out another one. Make it 9 for the ball game. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and that was his ninth of the game. If you're striking out one or more an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. The catcher, number 13. Ricky. Into the box, Ricky Go. Coates. As the first pitch to him is in there for oh, a called one. strike one. 0 for 1 yeah, for him yeah, here in this yeah. one. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. Fifteen straight, he's retired to start the ballgame. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Nationals one, and the Rockies nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, the, the dude, Nationals. Gerald. The pitcher. Hey, like the the dude, there, huh? Gerald. First offering on its way. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into hey, second here with nobody right there, out. 
When you've got the pitcher leading off an inning, you have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas, put some solid wood on it, and found himself on second with a leadoff double. So the now batting order turns over now and set to go. James Whiteside. Gerald stands at second with no outs. 2-2, here it is. Popped up. Knee high, he barehands right, it. it. He's out. out. Striding in now for the Nats, Up Eddie the Lantigua. Nats. No hits the in two trips to the plate Eddie. for him in the ball game. Lantigua. Now a look and a throw back to second. Here now the 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Sent toward first. But an easy play over at first to glove it. And the side is retired. Nationals leave one. But they lead it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Enrique Batista, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound. And these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game like it has here. Now batting. To the plate now, Sam Thompson. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Thompson is truly an elite level defender which is a big deal given the position he plays in the middle infield defensive metrics have become a bigger and bigger part of evaluating players of course and he's consistently among the leaders in these newer categories at his position yeah you can tell his pitching staff absolutely loves him first step quickness soft hands an absolute cannon for an arm this guy fits the bill defensively Len Tigua is back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone Standing in, Richie Chavez. Up next for Colorado, go, the pitcher, Richie Chavez. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the sixth consecutive inning here. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Nationals lead it one to nothing. Into the box now, the Nationals pitcher, the dude, Gerald, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. One time, right here. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. On the ground is short, this could be two. To second for one, relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Great job of hustle there by the base runner. That looked like an easy inning ending double play now runners at first and third with two outs now in the box James Whiteside. Whiteside the 3 0 boy not close again his third walk of the inning as that misses for ball four that's a big no no he obviously had to work carefully with two men on but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. And now for Washington, Eddie Lantigua. No Lantigua. hits in three tries so Eddie. far. He struck out Lantigua. once. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. On to the seventh here in game one. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. 
Now at the plate, Milo Trevino. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. This is foul right side. Now here it comes. Ah, he's fit to be tied after that one. It's 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Long run for the right fielder, but this will land untouched. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The 0-2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one, and this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Now batting, second baseman, Esteban Reyes. All right, jump on him. At the plate now, Esteban Reyes. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning. And he's seven outs away now. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. The center fielder, Standing five. in now, Mark oh. Abbott. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will wind up being a foul ball. At the ball. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Well, and all two. of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Three up, three down for Colorado. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready to begin the eighth, and next the dangerous power threat, Rolando Gonzalez. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Behind 0-2 now. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. That's a ball. Good waste pitch, one and two. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. 
Now batting the first baseman, Pedro Chavez. Here we go, boys. At the plate, Pedro Chavez. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here's a swing and a miss, one, ball, one and one. one, down, now, one down. Pitch on the way. Swing one and ball. a miss. Two Couldn't three. get extended on the screwball, and it's one and two. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. Ball, Good plate side. discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Weak one, rounder one, one. back to the mound. And that's oh. the second out. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. In now for Colorado, Ricky Coates. Quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Hey, Offensive on game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Backer back to the mound. And he'll toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail it here three to nothing. Now at the plate, the dude, Gerald. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, we it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. He comes set. Here's the nothing to nothing pitch. Down the left field line and deep. Batista will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. No, no, and a daring no. move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. All set to start the ninth in this one. And next it'll be the outfielder, Enrique Batista. Enrique. Ninth yeah. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. High in the air out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Sam Thompson. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. Ted Switzer will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 14, Ted. What the? Two down here. Hey. Good setup, and the circle change hits the spot. Oh, and one. The 0-1. Grounded to first. Reined in. And this is taken to the bag for the out, and it's over. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, 
and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. Four nothing to score this afternoon. The Washington Nationals win the opener here in the division series. The dude, Gerald, pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian. We all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.